In this tutorial, you will learn how to work with a content editor web part. You can use the content editor web part to add a section to a web page where you can enter rich text content such as formatted text, tables, hyperlinks, and images, much like working in a Microsoft Word document. In our example, the Human Resources Department would like a section of their page to profile an employee of the month. This would include a picture of the employee and highlights of their employment and a little bit about their personal hobbies or interests outside of the office. So to get started, I'll go up to Site Actions and then Edit Page. And like adding other web parts, I'll go to the Insert tab and select Web Part. From the list of categories on the left, select Media and Content. And to the right in the list of web parts, Content Editor is the first one in the list. And then I'll select Add. It adds this new web part above the page title, so I'm going to move it below the page title but above the documents. Just drag that down. To add content to the Content Editor, Mouse over the web part, click the web part menu, and select Edit Web Part. And then just as the instruction says, click here to add content, places a cursor inside the box. As I add content, that box will grow. So I've added his name, and then I'll continue to add the information about John. So I've added the text content. The next thing I'd like to do is add a picture of John. I'd like to add it before his name. And then up top I'll click on the Insert tab. And you'll see I can insert into the Content Editor web part. It'll allow me to add a table, picture, hyperlinks. I can upload a file. So I'm going to select Picture. And this is a picture I have in my Employee Photo Library. So it's from an address. And I need to have first copied the address to paste in here. It does not provide a browse option. So I, I'll cancel from here. Over on the left, you'll see my picture library called Employee Photos. And it's prompting me to save the page of what I've done so far. I'll choose OK to save. And it takes me to the picture library. Here's my picture of John. I'll click on the picture. And then when it opens up the properties, to grab the URL to the picture, I right-click on it and choose Copy Shortcut. To return to the Human Resources page, I'll click the Navigate button and choose Human Resources. To continue editing the web part, again, I'll go to the web part menu, choose Edit Web Part. And I want to insert the picture before his name or above it. Click in front of his name. Go to the Insert tab, I'll select Picture, and From Address, and now I can right-click in the address box and choose Paste, and then I'll choose OK. Adding a picture to the web part adds another tab at the top for picture design tools. Just to take a look at some of the features we have here, the picture is selected, I can click on the Image Styles and select a border style here. I'm going to choose a dark border. And then I can choose position of the picture related to the text. And you can see if I mouse over left, it pulls the text up to the right of the picture. Or the right option puts the picture to the right of the text. So I'm going to choose left. And last thing I'll do here is format the name. Highlight the text. The format text ribbon pops up front. I'll choose bold. And the last change I'll make is the title of the web part. I don't want Content Editor to display. I want it to say Employee of the Month. So I'm still in the edit mode of the web part. So on the right-hand side here is the tool pane. So I go to Appearance and just change the title of the web part right here. And our Employee of the Month for the title. And then go to the bottom of the tool pane. Choose OK to save my changes. And there's an example of using the content editor web part. 